well hello guys and welcome to my new screencast tutorial on the Kden live video editor in Linux well you can add Kden live which is the best video editor available for the Linux users through the Ubuntu software center but uh, I recommend you use the website kdenlive.org and go to downloads then choose your particular distro I'm using Ubuntu 10.10 Maverick Meerkat so I'll follow these steps and add Kden live after adding Kden live I open it up so this is the basic uh, view you get well yours might be different because I like to customize mine I like to move these spaces around this the spaces you have is the project monitor clip monitor record monitor these are the basic monitors you have which uh, you use to view your videos this is the project tree where you add your videos and where they appear this is the timeline where the videos will be actually edited and these are a few handy tools which you might need so you also have the effect list which consists of various effects which are pretty organized and pretty cool if you want to search for an effect you can search for it suppose if you want white balance you can use this and search for white balance or if you want uh, to see the different color correction options you can double click on it and you can see the options available so I'll go and start and I'll import a new video add clip and uh, I'll import this video well of course it will show you a warning that uh, the video size doesn't match uh, the clip monitor actually the size in which I'm editing it well that's okay because when you render it out uh, you can use the render option because the video is in 720p HD and I'm editing it in uh, uh, VGA widescreen NTSC so I like to customize it a bit so I'm going to take this project monitor out I'm going to pop it out using this and place it in a separate space over here and uh, move it around a bit so that it fits to the screen and this monitor too okay so that's basically it this is a preview window the clip monitor where you can pre preview the videos you added into the project tree you can hit the play button to play and preview it and suppose you uh, now you can drag the video like this onto the timeline so you'll have the video here and you can the video will show up in the project monitor too so you can move it around over here you can move around the video there are a few shortcut keys of which uh, you can use K as in kangaroo to play and K as in uh, the same button to stop the video but uh, Kden Live 8 has a bug so it crashes when you use that shortcut key so I recommend you don't use that one use the play buttons over here so of course you can select the video and uh, press delete to remove it off the timeline so suppose you just want a small part of this video uh, in your actual edit so suppose I want it from this part to somewhere around here so I'll hit the end point over here and uh, I'll watch the video and suppose I want that portion to end over here so I'll select this uh, I have an in point and an out point selected so you'll see this green part which is our selected part so now I'll click the clip monitor and drag it on to the timeline so now I have only that part which I've selected over here so this is pretty handy if you have some extra footage in the beginning of the video or the, or the end of the video of course you can uh, increase and decrease it by dragging the end of the video if you want it to be a, if you want some extra part from here or something so you can drag it out and you'll get that part and you can also drag it in to make it shorter and suppose you have uh, this video now there's another shortcut key which is pretty handy and that is uh, the cut key well you do have the scissors over here so you can put a cut in the video so you can use that but I prefer using the shortcut key suppose you want a cut to, to happen over here so with the video selected you'll press, press shift plus R R as in rabbits to put a cut and suppose you want the second cut over here and I'll hit again with the video selected shift plus R so I have a cut over here and I suppose I don't want this part of the video so I'll sl click on it and hit delete and I'll drag this video over here so I have a cut now which snaps from here to there so that's pretty handy you can also use the effects 
uh, well the effects are pretty simple you just click the effect and drag it on now since I have crop over here so you can crop it from about 60 on the top I'm just showing this how to do it uh, and 60 on the bottom suppose you want to letterbox it but uh, we'll just cut out a po 60 pixels from the top and 60 pixels from the bottom so that's a pretty handy tool if you want some letterboxing or if you want some extra unwanted parts removed from the video so you can add effects like that and suppose you do you have the effect added you can hit this button to delete that effect or if you don't if you want to see the video how it looks without the effect you can hit this and again to see how it is with the effect you can use that and transition suppose uh, we have another part over here and uh, we want transition it so you can hit this green glowing thing which appears when you mouse over at the point where they meet which will add the basic uh, dissolve transition and uh, the only transitions you will need is dissolve which is cross fade and uh, probably composite when you need to add some effects so you can use blend or uh, dissolve which is the same thing well that's the just the basic transitions which you'll need and that's it and suppose you're happy with this part of the video now what you want to do is render your clip so i'll hit render and uh, just as i said even if you edit it in vga widescreen you can still um, render it out in 720p hd and you'll still get the same quality so you have a lot of options over here some options are blocked which don't work for that particular video so I'll go to HD video and choose NTSC widescreen 720p and you can choose the folder which you want and after you're happy with it you'll hit render to file and uh, it says the video is still available so I'll rename it something like this and uh, I'll render it to it now the render process will begin and the render it will render out uh, the video in 720p hd so that's how that's a basic view of uh, what you needed to know in the kdn live video editor so please subscribe to my videos and keep watching my videos uh, should get better because i haven't uploaded videos since a long time and i'm doing this after a long time so anyways thanks for watching and please subscribe